we are waiting to be able to make our first pass and uh, nothing's really changed except for we have the two-step installed that we purchased from HHP that's the stage six motorsports two-step uh, currently we have it set for 3,000 rpm so our goal today is to launch at 3,000 rpm on the two-step off of the trans brake we're still running the factory suspension right now um, so we haven't changed anything back here yet like I've said I have a bunch of stuff at home to put on the back here so stay tuned we're gonna be working on the truck tomorrow on the rear suspension uh, to get this thing working a lot better but today we're just basically coming out to play and test the two-step out a little bit get a couple more logs um, so like I said we got a 3200 DA and we haven't changed anything in the tune all we've done is the, the we added the two-step and we're here to check it out and see what happens um, I'm thinking if we can get good traction we should be able to um, be a little bit quicker even with it being hot we should be able to launch a little quicker so I'm hoping we can dead hook at you know at least 3,000 rpm and see see how she runs like I said still got the same tune in it from the last time uh, that we ran 11.9 in about the same DA it was like a 32 or 30, 3300 DA and we was able to run 11.9 still um, we're still running uh, right now we're running pump gap pump 94 gas with a hundred percent meth injection for my uh, snow water meth kit so we got a hundred percent meth 94 pump gas and we're pushing about 12 degrees of timing roughly in the tune and uh, that's what we've been running for a while we're shifting at 6500 rpm so like I said we're gonna try out the two-step today see what goes down everything on the truck is still the same we have mirrors we have full interior we still got factory seats everything we even have all the paneling in the back everything is still in the truck so no stupid uh, weight delete or anything like that we are still where we've always been for a while um, one thing I will mention and I don't think it's gonna be a gain at all besides we've lost maybe 12 pounds and I'm gonna go over why we did that we did delete the AC uh, the AC is gone and that's because it quit working and I don't drive the truck that much anyways so I don't need AC but the AC quit the last time I took the truck out to a car show and instead of fixing it I said screw it and we deleted it so what we did is uh, I got with Matt over at Moe's and and he kind of explained to me what uh, what you do because there's no AC delete kit for these things like back in the day you used to be able to get a AC delete belt well that don't work on the Rams um, you have to have a pulley down there to be able to run it so what we did is we took the, the old AC compressor off and we and you know the AC compressor is basically multiple layers and what we did is we unbolted the AC compressor and we removed all of the guts on the inside of the AC compressor and all of the back plates so we're only running the very front bracket of the AC compressor down there if you can see it and as you can tell I kind of polished it up on the grinder a little bit um, so we're running the factory AC pulley with the front bracket off the AC compressor and that is it and that's held on by two bolts and the factory belt that's it um, so like I said that's not going to be a gain I believe at all um, very very minimal if any um, we we took out like I said getting rid of all the compressor parts I think we took out like 12 pounds from gutting the compressor and then plus the factory lines that run over the top of the motor here and then run over to the firewall those are gone granted those don't weigh much I didn't weigh them you know that's probably another couple pounds right there in those lines now it did free up some space not having to work around those lines anymore but that's the main reason I got rid of it was because it took a shit I don't need it and I will enjoy working on my truck a little better without those AC lines running across the front of it so that'll make my life a little easier working on it um, but that is it we still have heat as you can see the heater core lines are still running from the motor over here to the heater core box and it's still in the truck we haven't taken that out haven't removed anything there you go 
passenger side floorboard heater core assembly is still in the truck we're not going to take that out i think that's absolutely a waste of time if you ask me um but maybe one day <laughs> i don't know we might make the truck stupid but i'm not messing with that so that's how she set up today like i said we're just coming out here to play with a two-step and uh see what she does so hell yeah let's get it done So excited. 15.7. 15, 15.7, so he ran about the same thing again. Oh yeah, I hate to put the hurting on my buddy over there. He ran a 15.708 at 87. That ain't bad for a crew cab, stock, can 90 uh, Diablo tune, and bolt-ons. Full ass weight I'm talking about in a 3200 DA. So 15.7 ain't bad for him at all. And uh, I know we can do better. So we're gonna raise the two-step up a little bit see if we can get the uh, 60 foot down and uh, hopefully that should make us a little quicker I'm not expecting a lot right now guys because like I said we're still running the same amount of timing it's hot as balls out here right now 3200 DA and we're running pump gas there's not a whole lot I can expect um, out of the truck right now uh, just due to the weather so I'm just concentrating on two-step and 60 foot and just trying to get an idea where we can launch the hardest on the factory suspension right now in the back end. So right now it took 3,000 on the trans brake from a dead stop. It hooked like a tank and it, it hooked and went. Um, at least it felt like it. So I'm curious to see what the video looks like when I slow it down and see if we had any wheel spin or not. But it didn't feel like it. I mean, when I let off the trans brake, guys, it was like, oh shit. It felt like I was spraying nitrous again out of the hole. It was like holy crap we're moving so that was pretty badass good feeling so we're gonna crank it up some on the two-step try to launch see if the track and uh everything will take it 